Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back at you guys with another video, and today we're gonna be reviewing my Cigar of the Month Club from CI International. Okay, with this one right here, I get the basic subscription. I get four cigars a month. That's pretty good, because and they're all hand-rolled premium cigars. Uh, they have a six count that you can also get. That's about 30 bucks. I might even bump it up. It's probably worth the extra, you know, 10 bucks. All right, today uh, I chose the, the Mark Twain, the press. Uh, it's built as a medium to full body. They said it's got oak and leather uh, type flavors. Uh, Sumatra wrapper, Honduran binder, Honduran and Nicaraguan long fillers. So um, it's a pretty big hefty cigar. Uh, this is probably going to be a good hour, hour smoke right here. Um, if I would say anything, it's not the most attractive looking cigar. It's got some veinings, it's, it's, it's bumpy. Um, it's actually got a nice smell to it though. Okay, pretty firm. Let's go ahead and cut this up and let's see how it goes here, guys. <clears throat> I like, um, better, let's get this started. Toaster. Well, okay. I thought it was gonna be um, a little spicy to, or a little peppery. It's not. It's built as a um, good everyday affordable cigar. All right, right off the bat, I'm get I'm getting a leathery, slight peppery. <laughs> type uh, flavors. Nothing strong at all. Uh, I'm pairing this up with another Frosty. I'll go with a Sapporo again. You can see. It's got a nice band on it. The reason why I like uh, the Cigar of the Month Clubs, you know, they send you a little pamphlet <coughs> inside the box here, as you can see. So it tells you, it's got a little story about, about each cigar. So you can kind of go through, see where they're from, how they're made, uh, the strength of them so that's why I chose this one the other ones are kind of medium but medium to full body um, I didn't want to have that one right now I'll say that to for late night we're gonna be watching a movie outside later yeah um, I can't say anything bad about this cigar some cigars usually leave like a strong bitter or aftertaste in my mouth. Um, this one, it's not at all. I might have to look into these more. I don't even know if I would call it medium body. Just slight pepper. Um, it's very light on the oak and leather. Overall, I would have to say. This is a pretty decent cigar. Uh, I would, if I saw it in a store, if I saw a good five pack at a decent price, I'd pick it up. Like I'm saying, it's not much on flavors, just your basic uh, mellow 
um, <clears throat> oak leathery, not too much pepper, nothing lingers in your mouth after it. Kind of an even burn going on here, if you can see that. A little uneven, not too bad. I'll try to catch that up. Some of what I'm saying is, um, I said Mark Twain loved cigars. He had uh, plenty of uh, quotable phrases regarding um, cigars. Yeah, mellow to medium body. These are made out of the Dominican Republic. It's a six inch by 60 ring, ring size. So a pretty big cigar. You can get a box of 20 for like $57. That's crazy. Might have to look into that. But I would say if you are getting in cigars and you still don't know quite what to get on a daily basis until you found that one or two that you you know buy want to buy a 20-25 pack to keep in your humidor, you know go for something like a cigar club because you're gonna. So far, I haven't had anything the same. Um, I had them for about three or four months. They're all been different. I kind of wait on it just to see what's in there, and these are something I'm not gonna pick out you know, in a store of my own. So, um, they're all good. They're all handmade, all premium type cigars. Now, there's other cigar clubs out there you can look into. This is one of the more affordable ones and I get a good um, good prices on them. So, it's not bad. So, uh, I get out a thumbs up. And I'll get this Mark Twain a seven. Not bad, good seven, seven and a half. So, you guys be safe, aloha.